everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Kincaid Creations. I'm your host, Spencer. Good to see you. Good to be here. And I cannot wait to show you guys what I have been working on. Um, as you know, Gar or as you may or may not know, I should say, realistically speaking, <laughs> uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is finally about to drop in the theaters. And personally, I'm super stoked, especially because they're finally going to tell the story of my favorite character of the Guardians, Rocket Raccoon. James Gunn is finally going to show us how he came about, what his MCU backstory is, how it was, and that's great because I'm a huge fan and I've always wanted to see what his story was. So, anyways, I'm sure you all have a pretty decent guess who our character is going to be for the day, and that is, yes, Mr. Rocket Raccoon, played by Bradley Cooper. Now, as you can see, this guy is a little extra small compared to the usual, and, uh, well, I used a Creo figure, as I showed you guys in his other solo video, to make this, but I had to do quite a bit more special. I'm sure you can tell, hey, he's holding the guns, and it's, like, not a scared thing, and it's, like, oh, easy to swap, too. You can switch them out, put in all kinds of different guns, and do all kinds of cool stuff. You know, give him, uh, give him a lightsaber if you want, for example. No, not not the one I'm going to go with, but you guys get what I mean. The point is, I got Rocket Raccoon, and I had to uh, do some work to get his hands to work right. They're actually Lego hands, but I had to slice off the Creo hand, glue this on, then wrap a twist tie all the way around it and glue that together to get it to work exactly. Now, of course, the biggest, most important thing about this is that Baby Groot can hitch a ride with Rocket at any time. So I kind of made a big point of that because Lego, when Guardians of the Galaxy 2 came out, did not make a Rocket raccoon that could have Baby Groot on his back. And that always drove me so nuts, so I always strove to find a way. Now, they recently figured out and made the new head, so that made it easier, but that's not quite the same as what I did. So, I'll go more in-depth on another video once he is completely done, show you guys his different guns, different weapons, different everything that I'm making for this little guy, because, like I said, I'm a fan, but... For this video, I think I'm going to have to go ahead and wrap it up. I do need to get to sleep. I have work in the morning, and it is currently roughly in the threes of the a.m., so I'm going to go ahead and call it for it tonight. I will see you guys in the next video, and hopefully I'll be seeing a lot of you in the theaters on May the 5th. Stay tuned, folks.